So this is an interview that's been a long time in the waiting. We've got Mr. Julicious himself here. Well, how are you feeling about the uh, conference right now? Are you feeling well, good about not, the GA? This or? is not the first GA I've been to. I've, I've, I, I started going to GAs when I was a Hillel student at Concordia, so I've been to more than I can count. And uh, I don't expect anything great from, from the GAs, and we were invited to come here, otherwise we wouldn't be here. But what's the ultimate hope? Like, if you could have something really awesome come out of this, what would it, uh, what would it be? I mean, the realistic hope is incremental change, you know, uh, making the GA feel a little more comfortable about including people who traditionally wouldn't come to these things. The advantage of them having us here is, well, the free whiskey, um, but also that by us tweeting and, and blogging about this event, um, more people who don't know what the GA is all about um, will know. Very and cool. And will feel empowered and will maybe want to get involved. Do you, do you feel like being invited is uh, a, a reaching out of the olive branch for diversity? Absolutely. How much is strategy and how much is joy? crap about us anyway, but <laughs> no matter what we do. I mean, you know, we've been around now, what, like seven years? And this is the first time um, Julicious specifically has been involved in anything of this nature, of this stature. Um, so is it sending out an olive branch? I think at this point in time it's a desperate recognition of the fact that all this infrastructure, everything that's been built up by the by the federations over the many decades that they've been in service of the Jewish community, is uh, is being threatened. Its continuity is being threatened because there's a whole generation of, of young Jews out there that have no idea what this is all about, none, you know. And you know, innovation and excitement and all that stuff is great, but who's going to be around to like to fund and to man? These, these very important institutions that the federations help to, uh, to sponsor. You know, I'm, I'm not talking about, like, you know, sexy shit like uh, Godcast and, and Punk Torah and, and Julicious. I'm talking about who's going to be out there to take care of the old folks, who's going to take care of, like, education, who's going to take care of, 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 you know, taking care of poor people. I mean, all the things that the federations do... There's a gigantic infrastructure that's been built up over the decades, and where's the next generation of, of leadership? And in the past, I mean, the, the, the federations have certainly been um, good about paying lip service to, to including uh, younger people in the decision-making process, um, but it's not even a question of that. It's like younger people have no idea. I mean, imagine... You know, Birthright Israel has brought in, a, what, a quarter of a million people to Israel, in, partly, in part funded by the federations, and very few of these kids have any idea of the scope and, and the nature of what the federations do. They have no idea. I was, like, talking to people, I was like, yeah, I'm going to the GA, and they're like, what is that? I'm yeah, like, everyone you know, thought we were going to Georgia, and I'm like, we're already there. <laughs> or they, they thought I was going to the General Assembly of the United Nations, you know, and I'm like, no, it's... Well, you weird. should. You would be the perfect guy to, to go up there oh, and yeah, speak. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm very po political. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah. I know so, better. Uh, That's awesome. So, th I think there's there's an air of desperation, and, and um, maybe that'll translate into greater outreach, uh... And, and greater inclusivity, but I mean, I come here and it's really it's it's the it's it's preaching to the choir. I mean, it's, it's the usual suspects are here. And there's very few people um, that are in any position to shake things up that are that are here. And obviously, there's some exceptions. And, Except for you, you and know, I and Godcast and yeah, all the but other who people. Who am I? You know, who are you? You know, we're, we're, we're like nobody. Okay, so we reach like a massive audience that these people would pay like a fortune to high priced consultants to try to reach, you know, with awesome, cool, viral campaigns. <laughs> um. <laughs> well, you know, if you build a Facebook, that means you're hip. I didn't know if you were aware of this or not, but what you do is you, you build a face, the Facebook, as they call it, and then that's how you reach the young Jewish professionals, of which we have yet to define what young Jewish or professional means, but still. And young can mean 50. 
I've learned. That's another interesting. Dude, I'm, I'm 46. I'm not lying. I'm 46. But you got a great tan. That's what being Sephardic is all about. I have, I have you have the awesome, skin. awesome skin tone. Beautiful skin. All right. Well, thank you very much for finally getting on camera. Everyone thinks that me and Dave like have some sort of weird like disliking for each other, but I find Dave to be one of the coolest people ever. And, so. And I find Patrick to be absolutely scrumptious. <laughs> you can quote me on that.